Okay, now that you mentioned that, I seen a very brief amount of this, and I was like, okay, I didn't realize how bad it was getting. It's a video from a, a woman named Misha Petrov, and it goes to show how much of this stuff is infiltrating our media or whatever. I did not realize how bad it was. I didn't even wa I only watched like maybe the first 30 seconds just to kind of see like what it was really about. A and then I was just like, okay, not to mention like how to train your dragon. I forgot what this girl's name was. Like if they're actually changing her into this stuff, I was like, this is getting worse. I didn't realize like what this was turning into. I knew stuff was bad, but I was, after I was like, oh, this is crazy. All right. Astrid is her name. Okay. I wanted to take a look at this though because it did kind of go into some shit and I was like, wow. They added top surgery scars and binders into the game. Black people can't marry white people. So sad! Mix Genshin Impact characters by making them black. Black and brown represent the queer and trans people. Bunch of angry old white men. A non-white, non-straight girl. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. Not her. I'm a they. Hey guys, it's Misha. <laughs> Dude, not her. I'm a they. That, like when I seen those first few clips, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I was like, "Okay, I'll I'll actually I'll actually watch this on stream with you guys, so actually I can see the whole thing because I was like, this shit looks terrible. It's so bad." Yes, brace yourself, boys. Here we go. And welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reading your responses. I asked you all to tell me some some different shows, different movies, some celebrities where you saw a political shift. Perhaps you were part of a fandom where you saw a lot of woke ideology being pushed. I'm going to be reading Submit those responses today, but before we start, please make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Australian TV is making a shift, particularly kids TV. Okay, we're going to look up some of these. I've got my popcorn. Let's watch. What are you doing? Cancel music. It's a cry for help. That's bizarre. So that's definitely they them. Ben Camp is the first place where I feel like I've met people like me. Popcorn. Isn't a problem. It's an. They them. You you know this is one thing that's that makes it so rough though, is you know this all has to do with bringing the children into it. That's why it's all in the children's media now. It's so cringe. They're trying to normalize it. What are they wearing? Is this like one big GSA club or something? Turn up the volume. Heartbreak High. I started to watch it because I heard that they have an autistic character. I'm autistic. And I thought it would be cool to check it out. I first started watching it when I was woke and loved it. Now season two has come out and I'm not woke anymore. And it makes my brain bleed. Hey, congratulations. You, you remove your own autism by not being woke anymore. Okay, let's look it up. Heartbreak High being peak comedy. Let's watch. Do you want something gay to wear? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> There's a man outside exposing himself. I saw his pain. Oh, really? Isn't everything huge? <laughs> Are these supposed to be high schoolers? What is going on? And twinks. Kiss me. What? Maybe not. No, I'm I'm this is peak. Guys, it's like I was saying before. Remember when yesterday when we were watching that Fallout shit? And we've seen all the rest of this woke garbage stuff that they keep pushing. It's like, notice how vulgar they are. It's all vulgar. Yes, exactly. Vulgarity posing as comedy. And it's super, super cringe. Comedy? Of Velma, that's another example of where they take high school students and they sexualize everything. Okay, yeah. and they have them like half naked in the shower, in the locker rooms, and finally this sort of thing is getting backlash. We could see that with things like Euphoria, people are actually speaking out against this. And for the longest time, no one had a problem with it as long as they made the characters queer. Because then for some reason it's totally fine for people to write these characters is. who are minors and put them in these sexual situations. No. It doesn't make it fine. I'm an Olivia Rodrigo fan and going to her concert in a week, but her recent act of giving out abortion pills at her concert to young fans is rather concerning. Should I separate the art and the artist or not? Why is she giving out abortion pills? Because I know her audience. I don't even know who that is. Is that a singer? What, like, what are you even doing handing that shit out? Again, it's the idea is like trying to normalize it. Like, it's just normal. Go sleep with whoever you want as long as you wear protection kind of a thing or, you know, take these abortion pills. This shit's crazy, dude. And her fans, a lot of them are just much younger, like young teenage girls, right? What kind of message is that sending? And as for separating the art from the artist, I think at least then the fans who disagree with her, they should make that known that that's kind of creepy. Reportedly no longer allowing abortion. 
Biden funds to hand out contraceptives on her Guts World Tour. Pills and condoms being given out at Rodrigo's show in St. Louis by the Missouri Abortion Fund. Oh no! Chat, give me a one for cringe. That shit's cringe. How will people get their contraceptives if Olivia Rodrigo is not allowed to hand them out? Person says everything. I'm just expecting Mickey Mouse to break up with Minnie because he realizes he's in love with Goofy. The yeah, Sims probably. Four franchise. The Sims were already fairly liberal. In the last five years or so, it's gotten out of hand. They added top surgery scars and binders into the game, which makes no sense since you can literally make your Sim a boy. They added pronouns and customizable pronouns as well as masculine Sims with feminine. Yo, wait, isn't binders like when, when a, a, a woman is trying to hide her chest? Physique or feminine sims with masculine physique. You know, why should it Yo, stop? Yo, wait, hold up, hold up. I want to see that. That went by quick. Ah! Ah, dude, I'm glad I've never played the sims before. This is like what this actually reminds me of what they did to Pokemon Go, where they made all your characters. I, I like I don't even know how to describe it, but in Pokemon Go, they, they they did an update where females can't have like hips no more. They have like these guts hanging out and shit. They have like no shapes or curves or anything. That's exactly what this reminds me of. It looks very similar. Masculine physique. You know, why should it stop there? Why should it stop at mental disorders ah. like gender dysphoria and things like that? We should do physical issues as well, or else you're not diverse enough and we'll be labeled a big. Oh, come on, go to the course. polls. Because if you have any problem, you need to have that represented. But the question I have is why? Can't you just play the game? I'm a big fan of no. a game called you Genshin must be Impact. The game in itself doesn't have that much wokeness, but the fans only care about assigning characters asexuality and making couples between the characters. It doesn't stop there. If someone disagrees with a ship or prefers stray couples, they just call them homophobic or try to say how it's basically canon that a character is LGBT because it's implied. In short, if their delusion says it's true, then it's true. Not to mention how they feel entitled to change races of the characters and attack the voice actors of if they don't comply to the woke mom. AK, don't support Palestine. What does Palestine have anything what? to do with this? Why does everything have to be politicized? Why? Because their whole life is politicized. Remember, these are role players. And role players can only see the world through the lens of the character that they are playing. And then they demand that you role play along with them. That's the way that this works. I also cannot stand it every single time when these fans make up these like romantic stories between characters and then the companies go along with it and go, oh yeah, okay, let's make that canon now. It's like, can you stop? It's like going to the singers and actors and saying, you have to talk about this political issue. They're there to sing or act. Here, I'm gonna look this up as well and learn from the fans of this game. Let's hear from this guy. He says, these Twitter artists fix Genshin Impact characters by making them black, but like who asked? People who just see an image they don't like and claim it doesn't fit with how they see the world through a morally. And actually made her 20 years old. The anatomy on the OG hurt me so much, guys. Also gave her a froggy cause her fit was boring. Dude, what? Like this? Look at her finger. You, not only did you give her a froggy, you turned her into a frog. Look at that finger. Accurate scope where representation is the only thing that matters when it comes to art. Or even just <laughs> creating characters and OCs. And since clearly they have nothing else to do with their time, they just take matters into their own hands and just fix any drawing that doesn't scream woke or isn't black enough. Yeah! <laughs> I, I don't hear we fixed your character and made them better. I, I can't relate to this because I don't I've never seen these characters before, but I'm imagining that they were white before by darkening the skin so you don't have to. OK, so they fix the characters. Yeah, uh -huh. they fixed so them. They were broken. It wasn't right to have a white character. I think most anime that tells you everything that you need to know about the mindset. They fixed the problem, which means you are the problem. Characters, skin color is. they're almost always white, but they take, again, here's the actual problem, is that they take the existing characters and they fix them and they make them black. Okay, this person talks about 40K and Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, we got Warhammer 40K. Again, I don't play video games. I think it's a video game, right? But let's look into it. Female members. It's partially a video game. It's also tabletop. Stay away from it. Members. Okay, so I'm guessing that this like group of characters were all male. Oh, but the now Adeptus. Saying, no, there were okay. actually always women there. Loyal mm -hmm. fans to your game. They've been supporting it. They've been buying it, whatever. 
and you're just gonna say, well, actually, you guys are all dumb because this has always been the case. And if you don't like it, the complete switch up, the complete lie, you're sexist. They treat their fans like idiots. I'm a mom of three girls. Yeah. One of them I'm adopting. That's that's how they see themselves. They see them. You know, you guys remember, uh, Anakin, I have the high ground. Don't do it. You guys remember that scene? That's how they envision themselves is they have the moral high ground and they're looking down at you going, don't do it. I have the high ground. Listen to me. Yeah, liar! In a month, and as a mom, I feel sad that I can't show my girls certain shows I grew up with for the sake of protecting them from wokeness. I remember being four and five watching Blue's Clues, and I would love to share that nostalgia oh my with my one-year-old, but unfortunately, Blue's Clues is not age-appropriate or tame like it was for me growing up. There's also Steven Universe. I what did they really do to Blue's Clues? When I was 18, and I didn't mind the lesbian stuff, but now looking back on the show, I draw the line at the non-binary representation where they have a non-binary character too. This is my page. I love posing for selfies. But social media can be about more than how you look. It can be about who you are. That's why all of like the Starbucks- Dude, that shit's ridiculous. Like they're not even trying to hide anything. By the way, wh guys, what is this art called? I've been seeing this artwork pop up like everywhere where the characters look very bland and flat. I, it's like you see it on Google, you see it all over the place. I don't know what it is, but like the shit's just ridiculous. Corporate art. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It can be about who you are. That's why all of like the Starbucks baristas, Cringe. they love Steven Universe. Here's an ad, by the way, starring a Steven Universe character. Three! <laughs> <laughs> Don't hey, tell me. We're older. Let's get married. Dude, oh my, you gotta be. Dude, that's bad. Holy moly. What, dude, once when I seen him came down that slide holding hands, I was like, please don't. Dude, this is on Cartoon Network. Dude, this shit just gets worse. <laughs> hey, when we're older, let's get married. Ha! Huh. You can't get married. Why not? Black people can't marry white people. Hey, now. It's Garnet from Steven Universe. Kids. Don't be racist. <laughs> Cut. Okay, people, we just need I'm to sorry. get coverage. Mm -hmm. We'll start again in five. This is the cheesiest job I've ever done. Like, based on how young they... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, first off... Dude, what the hell? Second of off... Okay, hold up. I, I'm noticing something here. They're pretending that this is already normal. Right? But notice that they don't address that as in that cut that type of relationship is not a natural thing. And instead they skim over and turn it into a racial issue. You 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 guys see what I mean by the boiling frog? It's slow incremental changes. It's like boiling frog combined with gaslighting, where they're saying, like, this is already normal, but what the real issue is is uh racism. That's how they, they slip this stuff in there. Dude, that's crazy. That that's like by design. That, I, I, it's crazy. This is the cheesiest job I've ever done. Like based on how young they look, I'm thinking back to that age. Boys did not think about dating like at all. I of know course. here it's two boys, but when it was like a girl and a. Although to be fair, when I was a when I was but a boy, I still thought boobies were nice. I didn't really think about like dating per se a little bit, a little bit, but I didn't really understand like what it really meant. All I knew is that I seen honkers and I was like, I like that. Boy, they'd be like, ew, the girls have cooties. Ew, don't go next to the girls, right? But for some reason, when mm -hmm. you make them gay, they're thinking about marriage. Things oh, are yeah. getting serious already. Yeah, because they know Stuff exactly like what that is. This actually happen in real life. <laughs> whoa, whoa there. Are you kidding? Whoa. It totally does. Just because this has never happened to you, doesn't Oh my, uh, hey, lecture the white kid. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Oh, whoa, well, I'm sorry. Seriously, I didn't know. You have to acknowledge racism to work against it. Oh you kids my. Kids work on this before the wedding. <laughs> whoa, that's just, just the script. script. <laughs> we only just- wait, oh, wait, hold up. You gotta work on this before the wedding? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, boys. <laughs> you kids better work on this before the wedding. <laughs> Oh, dude, oh my gosh, this is terrible. 
Dude, it's this bad? Whoa, that's just, just the script. <laughs> we only just met today. Why is she winking? Why is Pomegranate from Steven Universe so excited about these 10 year olds getting married? Is that her job? Does she just go around what grooming are you, a kids at the playground? Why is she at the playground? You gonna try and groom me next? Or are you gonna try to groom that 15 year old <laughs> boy over there that you came here to meet? Pride, everybody. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Did they actually say that shit in the, it was that AI voice or did they actually do that in Naruto? Dude, that shit would be funny if they actually put that in like the original. The pride flag up high. Oh. Is this common people make it's like you're not a kid you're not watching this why do you care it's for kids that's the point are you that narcissistic that you can't recognize that just because you're not the target audience oh, okay you're not being directly affected that it still matters that there still are three-year-olds who are going to be watching that if when eventually they're going to be ads showing oh yeah you like flannel well it's time to chop off your body parts are you going to say well it's not meant for me it doesn't matter why do you care how do yeah, you not exactly. care? I'm a Tolkien fan. I resent what Amazon did with their Rings of Power series. The Lord yeah. of the Rings franchise was particularly heartbreaking with the Rings of Power. When the trailer came out, we all saw that it was going to be horrible. Casting DEI requirements resulted in black elves and black dwarves. I hope I don't need to explain why mythological creatures inspired by Nordic medieval European folklore aren't supposed to be black. By the way, not even black people liked it. Watch the hilarious intro of the video black Dude, what a bigot. Cancel that man right now. Black elves dwarves in Lord of the Rings by Fatal J. What is this? Look at my dude. They making them elves now? He got a fade like me. And look at her. <laughs> look like something straight out of an Egyptian show. Y'all got Tolkien doing base jumping inside his grave. I'm glad that there are black fans <laughs> who are speaking up against this as well because it's so lazy to do this. You Dude, don't you love it? It's just it's exactly like Yasuke when they gave him like a modern like haircut and trim. It's like how can you not guy how can you not see the irony that you guys are the the raw ceased ones? You can write original characters, you can create new stories and that have That dwarf black is missing a beard, characters. yeah. You can have Asian characters, you can have whatever race characters. No, you can't. But if you have an existing character, why race swap them? They're already established. People know them as a certain gender, a certain race, a certain age. Dwarves would be No, you're wrong on that one because these people want to rewrite history. It is no different than the way that they try to, to change the definition of words. Give me a one in chat, boys, if you, if you see this, where they try to redefine what words mean. It, the goal is to, I don't like this. It must change to what I want it to be. It's all propaganda. So if they can change words and they can change history, of course, they're going to change characters to what they want. That's the way that this rolls down the hill white because they live underground so there would not be melanin in their skin elves were described as fair-skinned all they had to do was that. show some easterlings as black tan etc there are two blue wizards that are barely mentioned in the books so they could have been a different race other than white and it would fit just fine unless it's a character like in velma where they're portraying oh, them geez. as stupid sexist all that so they had that one white character in velma and he was a cis straight white man and he was just so dumb he didn't know how to do anything because he was so privileged it's like of then it's okay for them to be white <laughs> Grey's Anatomy has always been political but at least in the first seasons they it's at least so cringy, gave the other dude. side space for debate not anymore did a CT angio to determine the location of her vascular injuries there excuse me there injury not her I'm a day I especially <laughs> if you're a they why why how come you are you're covering that upper area on your chest what's the point of that feel bad for the doctors that have to put up with this you went to medical school you put in all that work spend so much money and now you have to go against biological facts and pretend that you're talking to a they a they mm -hmm. i'm yeah. gender queer Non-binary. Got it. Oh my god. Thank you for letting us know your pronouns. Their preferred pronouns are they and them. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, well, all right then. Um. Let's get a psych evaluation as well while we're at it, because maybe this person hit their head. A lot of people- I am legit surprised that the doctor wasn't like some white, blonde-haired, blue-eyed dude.
who had to have been like taught exactly what this really was. The lecturing, dude, the lecturing, the role playing. You must role play along with me. Don't you know the rules? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. People mention Doctor Who. Newest season I'm extremely disappointed with. Forced transgender character. Dumb pronoun debates. Black Isaac Newton. Was he not white? The list could go on and on. <laughs> More on Doctor Who. Doctor Who used to be a fun show to teach viewers about they changed the Isaac times. Newton. The thrill of adventures and how you can do anything you put your mind to. Now you just get lectures on climate change and respecting fictional aliens' pronouns. Legit oh so upsetting gosh. how wokeness has ruined my favorite show and my childhood obsession. Let's watch this uh, preview. Meet Maestro, the devil's core, Doctor Who. My notation is... Maestro. But what are you? I am... Music. But it's so sad, Timothy. Oh, dude. So, Maestro. <laughs> dude, that was a literal, like, it's male moment. Is an otherworldly, timeless, godlike, demon like being. <laughs> defies the laws of normal human reality and physics. Defies the laws of gender. <laughs> this is a trans character. Okay, boys. Have you noticed that they actually tend to dress themselves as what we would perceive to be as like demons? Yeah, have you ever seen them like where they walk around and they have like horns and like shit like that? Or they're wearing like hooves and crap? Like they're, they're literally dressing like this. Uh, I guess Pennywise is now trans. Okay. <laughs> How dare you insult Pennywise? Because the ratings are so low, this new doctor, he's blaming everyone for being racist. Or homophobic or both, I guess. This All is more of, the of a dodged the bullet sort of thing, but I'm glad Gravity Falls was made when it was because the creator tried putting LGBT whatever in the show. And at the time, Disney wouldn't allow it, and it remains one of my favorites. So thankful it was made back before Disney started allowing all that in their movies and shows, because just imagine the train wreck, they'd make it today. Right, I think they did put... The two cops. The two cops kissed. They were both men. There's no, like, pronouns or transgender or anything. But if it was made now, it would definitely be different. My eyes are on fire! Ah! Used to be a fan of the Supergirl show right at the beginning, but I guess shouldn't be surprised where it headed. Let's look up Supergirl. Never heard of it. One where you said I was the walking personification of white male privilege. Oh mm. my gosh. <laughs> on my planet, females bow before males. This is not your planet. I'm not Superman. Dude, this writing, dude, I have an aneurysm. On my planet, women bow before males? <laughs> On my planet, females bow before males. Where's that planet at? Can I visit it, please? This is not your planet. I'm not Superman's cousin. I'm Supergirl. He's not strong enough. Why? Because she's just a girl. Oh, Supergirl was oh also Oh my canceled. dude, this stuff. <laughs> I wonder why. I want to work for a cool, powerful, kick woman instead of a bunch of angry old white men. A non-white, non-straight girl in Blue Springs, Nebraska. Our alien neighbors, they're no different. Most of them are hardworking immigrants or refugees just trying to get... Dude, oh, like this... Oh my gosh, the lecturing, dude. I, my brain is dying, man. Okay, first of all... Give me a one in chat if you either work with women or you know women, okay? It's probably gonna be like no ones in chat because you guys don't know any women. But they don't even talk like this. They don't even, like, this has gotta be the effect of working in like California in your little cubicle, in your little chat bubbles, if you will, your echo chambers. That's probably how they, they speak to each other just another white male <laughs> yeah i'd rather work for a kick-ass woman <laughs> i'll tell you what most women actually don't like working underneath other women because they tend to be quite mean to each other get by they have to hide who they are in order to survive i can sympathize with that the comment says on my planet females bow before males you expect me to believe that a human being wrote that i am not yeah Superman's exactly cousin i'm supergirl um, yeah, Supergirl is Superman's cousin. <laughs> Society supports obese women, makes fun of short men. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter because they're a man. So they're not where you want them to be on the oppression chart. 
So we can get away with that. Again, in my planet, females bow before males. I've yet to actually meet a dude from the 21st century that unironically says this. Where did these people live? Where do they encounter such men? Because I'm sorry if that's been... Uh, they live in their own reality. It's called role-playing. And they also live in California or New York. In your experience, but... Most men, I feel like in America in 2024, aren't going around saying things like that. All right, I used to love- Most um, most men in America are spineless jellyfish who are afraid to do anything. The Umbrella Academy, and it was one of my favorite TV shows. I still love the first few seasons. But when I tell you that they destroyed this last season, I mean they destroyed it. One of the main characters, Vanya, oh, that's my dog's name, uh, suddenly I'm turns trans that. and changes her name to Victor, even though Vanya is a male name in Russia. I don't know. And there's literally no context behind it. What? Both are male names. So to go from Vanya to Victor is so stupid. Here, Victor's transition, the Umbrella Academy. Oh no. I love the haircut. Yeah, well somebody had to do something. Who elected you, Vanya? It's uh, Victor. Who's Victor? I Guys. Give me, give me an F in chat. If you, re, if you remember what they used to look like, give me an F in chat, man. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This is what role playing does to people. Dude, that's a total F in chat, man. Damn. That's I don't like seeing stuff like that. I am. It's who I've always been. What? No, you were Vanya. Uh, is that an issue for anyone? <laughs> nah, I'm good with it. Yeah, me too. Cool. Well, I guess we can't really say anything because <laughs> oh, no if we did have an issue, we'd Come be transphobic. In. But what do you mean you were always Victor? Like, you were, you turned into Victor two seconds ago, but you weren't always Victor. Can we at least acknowledge that that? No? Oh, okay. Yeah, you were always Victor. Love that for you. So brave. I love How to Train Your Dragon to Death. I don't care how childish that sounds, but I've heard they're planning a live action remake and they're casting Astrid, a Scandinavian Viking, as a black woman. When did it become normal to cast actors who look nothing like the characters? I love- Ever since you accepted it and kept going to the movie theaters. This franchise and it's so sad to see what they're doing to it. I found this video on YouTube. They did it again, a live action How to Train Your Dragon race swaps Astrid. These companies are basically saying that you can only relate to a particular character just solely off of the way they look, which in turn is incredibly racist in my honest opinion. Exactly, you can yes. relate to a character yes, without yes. looking exactly like them. If you related to Sebastian the crab from The Little Mermaid, is it because you're a crab? <laughs> Is it because you look like a crab? Well, may maybe I wasn't a crab, but maybe I'm a lobster, and the lobsters like to stretch out, and they have the serotonin levels. Probably not, right? And I just find the concept of the race swap incredibly lazy, but it's also very much done on purpose. This is coming from somebody that they're trying to pander to, and I'm trying yes. to tell you guys that I don't want this definitely check out Good star man. wars Good there's man. also some like new series from star wars the acolyte ride through the entire movie uh, there was just something about the relationship between the sisters uh the guys hey, hey uh guys do we notice anything with the haircut here concept of true love being between two sisters and not a heterosexual relationship like it just mm -hmm. it just destroyed me completely and i thought gosh you know i would love to make something like this something that like my parents would have allowed me to see when i was younger as a queer person gotcha. but i would have been able to understand as a queer person and i think i i would have had a completely different life there were two different kinds of love all right so there was true love yes the sisters loved each other and then there was true love Anna and, um, oh my god, I almost said Olaf, not Olaf. And not Sven, why can't I remember this guy's name? It's killing me, wait. Kristoff, 
Okay, Kristoff, yes. So she marries Kristoff. That's a heterosexual relationship. As a queer person, you watch Frozen and you could finally understand it. Why? What does you being queer and the sisters have anything to do with each other? Girl, Star Wars New Jedi. Dude, these are the same people that would probably commit acts with dogs. Okay, so. We we already know that they'll go. It, it, it's Remember, the idea is like love is love. And I say the love of what? The love of sin is still sin. World order? Permeate that patriarchy, that power structure. And is that a part of the calculation of your art as well? And, and what's been the reaction to that? Oh, absolutely. Um, I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. Yes, queen. If the roles were reversed, there would be a whole harassment investigation like what do you mean what do you mean you like making women uncomfortable but her liking to make men uncomfortable that's fine ah funny clap clap if you're a feminist there's also going to be a new game um assassin's creed game and they're gonna have a black samurai look to find like, yeah. the one exception the one black samurai and they have to make it about him asian people are not as high up on the oppression chart so it's fine just talked about this when we were speaking about shogun or shogun and people were upset shogun. that there weren't any black samurai this is newer look at this so disney will no longer hold meet and greets with the beloved fairy they cited the portrayal of an unrealistic body image as one of their reasons i'm sorry uh. what Oh my gosh, it's the same bullshit all o over and over again. Who complains about the, the this body image? Who out there, like, you've never heard of a man say that the Hulk or Batman or Thor had these unrealistic bodies. There's there's just one type of group that, that really complains that, that uh, her hips are too wide and her weight. Oh, where's her organs? Tinkerbell is like this small. She's a fairy. Obviously, there's going to be an unrealistic body image. You're telling me that... It's no different than the idea of it's okay to shame someone for being in good shape. But if they're fat, then you, can sh you can't shame them at all. That's the way that it always has been. It's the old-fashioned do as I say, not as I do. And you can apply that as a blanket statement across all the bullshit that they do. Young girls that are watching Peter... Don't be racist, but white people are bad. Pan ...and seeing Tinkerbell, they're going... I hate my body because I'm not three inches tall. Every Disney princess should be more realistic. They should all have stretch marks. Okay. Sure. They should definitely animate some cellulite. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They should show us their body hair. Or perhaps it doesn't matter yeah. all that much if we don't get to see their back acne. Because this is fantasy <laughs> and everything is kind of perfect in the fantasy. Hey, but Prince Charming, he better have a wide jaw, six foot five, hot as a mofo, and he's gonna fall in love with the most bland, boring, fat, ugly bitch. World, so if someone has beautiful long hair, it's gonna be longer than what we would see realistically, right? If someone's really tall, they'd be really, really tall, where it's like, wow, I don't know anyone that tall in real life. People know, because it's fantasy. So I think as we can tell, everything that becomes woke, it's not as entertaining, but I would love to hear if you have any movies or TV shows that do have this sort of political ideology being pushed, and let me know if you have any good- Let's see, we've got World of Warcraft, we've got League of Legends, We've got Warhammer 40K. We've got uh, basically everything. There you go. Lord of the Rings. It's basically everything. It's everywhere, man. It's mold. It just grows in the darkness. Don't forget six figures. Yeah, Dan. Battletech. Yep. Uh, we got Trench Crusade now. They went straight down into the gutter. Fallout. Yep. We got Fallout 2. D&D. &D, yep. We got that too. Look at how easy. It's actually more difficult to name shit that hasn't gone downhill with this garbage than it is to name something that, that has already. Rainbow Siege. Wait, what do they do with Rainbow Siege? I haven't played Rainbow Siege, so I'm not sure. Star Wars. Yep, exactly. It's like everything. You can just start naming all of it. Star Star Wars, Star Trek, yep. Dude, Star Trek was so bad. Pathfinder, Baldur's Gate 3. Jurassic Park. End Gaze. <laughs> James Bond, yep. Dude, it's all this shit. It never ends, and it's only gonna it's just gonna keep getting pushed, push, 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 push. Good shows or movies that don't, that we can watch without being lectured. So please comment that below. Also remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and follow me on my other socials that's in the description. And I will. That was a good video. That was a good video. This was by uh, Misha Petrov, or Petrov. 
I don't know. But that was a good video. Man, dude, that's just tragic. My Little Pony and Men... Dude, <laughs> My Little Pony? I don't know about that one, dude. 